Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about some mercy decision making slash gameplay as well as looking at some less than nice things that were said by one of our teammates. Uh, I have cut a lot of our lost fights just to save time uh, and focus on the important decisions, right? The decisions that led to us winning fights. So our first point was a little slow, but we do take it here. You can see I'm playing back, and that's because I hear Reaper. Um, I don't want to die to him, and I want to ping him for our cast. Keep Cassidy alive, keep him damage boosted, and we win that fight. After we take that point, I'm just trying to play up with our monkey, damage boost him. I do balk out of fear of that reaper TP, and because I build it fast enough, um, I'm trying to help our Ana, but I know she's dead, so I'll just wait until it's safe to res her. Calling out that reaper TP, Somber walks into it, what can you do? At this point, I just need to keep our Nune alive, uh, and from there, it's just swapping between damage boosting our Cassidy and helping my Ana keep our monkey alive, um, healing him to also build up another Valkyrie. After our next team wipe, we swap Farah, and I immediately begin to pocket her. As much as I love pocketing Cass, uh, Farah is just so strong, and enabling her to be stronger is never a bad idea, right? Um, and this also enables Mayana to keep her eyes on the team fight and out of the sky. As we're pushing up, I see that Reaper TP, so I'm just gonna float away, stay out of range. Uh, we hit a beautiful sleep into a clean kill. Our fire dies, but I can res off that building to avoid as much damage as possible. Valking afterwards so I can live and get away. After Valking, I see that most of my team is fine, uh, but my Cassidy is pretty far up out of LOS in a monkey bubble, right? So I'm gonna use the rest of my Valk to help him. Um, and from there, we do secure the second point. Of course, we do have to get that Mercy tax on the Lucio. Then, I'll be honest, our third point was just poorly played uh, right up until this final fight. I know I can touch Kart and Rez here after asking my Ana to carry me. And then I'm just back to beaming our Farah and GA to point to get three on and make sure nobody can stall. Now I left this pre-round part in just to show uh, that our team was super friendly, uh, like all game, um, but especially you know during this point where we can actually type freely. Um, Soldier was complimenting my duo and I. Uh, and, and we had played with this tank before, um, so we know that, you know, he's not serious when he's saying that it's our fault, um, and, and it's all playful banter, you know, he was also saying Winton earlier, and that's all he was saying, so, like, you know, this guy's fun. Um, basically, just really trying to emphasize that my duo, myself, the whole team, we've had no issues, and we we're not expecting any yet, obviously. <laughs> um, so as we're starting our defense, I can hear that they have a monkey. Um, so now I know that they want to dive us, and most likely they're going to want to dive Ana. So I'm trying to stay up in the air to avoid giving monkey ult charge, and I want to keep an eye on my Ana. Now the fight gets <laughs> a little too messy. Um, Ana dies in an unsafe spot to res, so that is not an option. Resing her here is just going to guarantee a fight loss. Um, so as the only support for a while, my only goal is to live and to keep my team alive until Ana gets back. Notice that I'm only healing. I am not blue beaming at all, right? Because again, what are my goals? Living and keeping my team alive. I need the passive heals on myself to stay up and these two need to stay alive until Ana can get back. So we do manage to hold for another minute. Uh, but we do lose first and kind of get snowballed from there. And then the friend request. From here, <laughs> I think we all know what's coming, right? So I just wanted to have a little fun in team chat. Kind of maybe antagonizing a little bit. Are you chat banned? Do you need to tell me something? Listen, I've been here way too many times. 
this sort of thing just doesn't affect me, so it's honestly more fun when I mess with it. But yikes, I really did not expect the, the uh, I hope you die in real life. I hope you fall into the pits of hell, you fat bastard. Yikes. Wow. Let's tone it down a little bit. Anyways, <laughs> it's a rough fight for first point. We do end up capping, uh, but only pushing as far as the cart moves on its own, uh, which basically guarantees us the loss if they cap, which they did. Um, now, Far and I pushing out while we're capping maybe isn't the smartest idea, right? Um, should I have gone with her knowing respawn timers and that they would be back pretty soon? Probably not. Um, I probably should have just stayed back and, and played with the rest of the team. No point in pushing out there. Was my positioning while we push out the best? No, I was admittedly very distracted, uh, just talking to my duo about <laughs> the DMs that I was getting from this guy. Um, I did tell everybody in match chat, because I will never keep my mouth shut about people that behave like this. And they doubled down in the DMs, they said I, I still mean it, I fully meant it, wholeheartedly, in all caps. Wow, alright. And, and you know, from there, like I said, we did lose. But at the end of the day, I, I do hope that these people can get the help that they need to be nicer and an overall better person. But all we can do is report him and let whoever come ban him see that maybe, you know, <laughs> we need to fully ban him. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully the next decision making slash gameplay video I post won't have people sending death wishes. <laughs> but... Take care and ciao for now.